By rights, we should be running out now. Just had a door slam. Welcome back to Most Haunted Extra. This time, Carl and Stuart venture into new territory, Champness Hall in Rochdale. Named after Methodist minister Thomas Champness and after a mysterious benefactor donated £100,000 for its construction, Champness Hall first opened its doors on the 8th of September in 1925. It instantly became one of the most grandiose landmarks in the borough. Not only did this remarkable building boast the largest auditorium in town, it had facilities for 1,000 Sunday school pupils, 20 classrooms for study, an exhibition centre and flats for the homeless, making it a centre point for the people of Rochdale. So highly thought of was this place that Rochdale's very own Dame Gracie Fields appeared here and it made headlines in 1977 when it cancelled a sell-out concert by the Sex Pistols, which many believe was the catalyst of the band breaking up. Sadly, as with many such large buildings, Chapness Hall fell out of use and became largely forgotten. However, in 2013 the Champness Hall Trust was set up with an aim to restore the building and bring it back to its former glory, returning it into public use. With the many thousands of people from all walks of life that have walked through its doors, this imposing landmark is said to still be home to some of them. A piano has been heard playing when no one is at the keyboard. Dark shadows flit in the seating area. Doors slam when there is no wind and a dark figure has been seen wandering all over the building. We start in the main auditorium. Do you know what? A door slamming. Just shutting. I can put you on edge. Um, it's Stuart and ours, you can see. We're in a huge theatre. Um, have you got a torch? Yeah. You shine out, but you, so everyone can see how big this is. Oops, I don't know whether, whether you can um, see anything, can you? Because it's that vast. Well, I have to say, Stu, your sh torch is shit. <laughs> it's the only torch I have. It's better than nothing. Well, we can't see anything <laughs> in the distance, but... <laughs> You'll have to take our word for it, the vastness of it. If we walk down here, I'm going to walk backwards so you can see probably things coming into focus a bit more. In fact, where's my phone? Now, I'm going to put my phone on. And uh, obviously, the, as far as Yvette's concerned, the very difficult task of actually putting the light on. Yeah, you, your phone's a lot better. There you go. You can just see that in the distance how vast this place is. And there's loads of little rooms off of here. And uh, now you might hear some music. There's a church next door, and they're playing. Uh, there's a church band, and I think they're rehearsing, playing their own stuff. So you might hear a little um, beat. Uh, and that's us, really. So let's start. How are you feeling, Stu? I'm okay. I, I don't feel an edge. Um, no, I'm only just... Uh, it's just a theatre, isn't it? It's where good things happen. But it's because it also, it's not, it's not claustrophobic, is it? So no. You don't feel... Oh, no. Is no. anyone here? Can you show yourself? Let's go up on the stage. There is a dripping sound in the distance as well. Right, so let's go up here in the back. It looks like it's kind of done up for a wedding and the like. Hi, mate. Yeah, no, we're just filming. 
Hello? What's the matter? You see him? Huh? We're just filming down here, buddy. What's down there? He's up there. Up where? Must be the manager, or he was there a second ago. There's no one up there. I've just fucking seen him. Look, I... There's no one up there, Stu. Hello? Carl, I've just seen a guy with grey hair up there. That's why I said it then, that we're filming. All right, let me go up to that end. Right, I'm going to stand there with the camera. Fucking kidding me. Are you tell really? me where you saw him. Right in the far corner where the doors are there, where the glass is, Carl. The huh? four glass panels in the corner, where yeah. I'm pointing. I was just about to follow you up the wooden steps and I noticed him stood there. Whereabouts? Further up here? Keep, keep going right to the corner. Keep going. Keep going across. Keep going. Right, go up. There you go. Right, stop there. Here? Yep. That's where I saw him. Well, there's no one here. But I, I can see that now, but there was then when you was walking up the steps and I was about to follow you. It's clear as day. Ah, so they are doors. There's a, the, if I open those doors, you can hear the music. There's certainly nobody down there, though. Come on. If you're here, I can put that on there. Can you show yourself to me? with grey hair. I saw him like I'm looking at Carl now. If I'm standing where Stuart saw you, stand next to me. I, I, I'm actually lost for words if I'm being honest with you. I'm hearing noises up here. Hey? Eh? I'm hearing noises up this end now. Did the, did the figure move? No, it was just stood there. That's why, that's why I said it the way I said it, because I thought I saw someone. See, I've got, I can see you clearly on camera. Right, well, thing is, I thought I saw some, or heard something at this door. They can't because it's got a lock on it. And to be right. fair... I can see the lock on it, yeah. There's asbestos behind there, so no one's going to be in there anyway. But there's a lock. So it can't be those doors. I just thought I heard what sounded like some movement here. If you're here, can you... Can you touch one of us? Can you show yourself again? On camera this time. Was that the piano? Fucking hell, that was the piano, you're right. Have a look. I'm, I'm up here. Uh, where, where is it? it come from this area. It? Oh, there it is. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I saw it when I went, came up the stairs. It's right in front of you. You can see it. Yeah, the, 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 the piano's here. I'm sure that was a piano. It, it, yeah, it was. Do you want me to hit a key on it? Yeah, go on. Oh, I'm absolutely no Beethoven, that's for sure. But well, here we go. <laughs> oh, it does work. It was longer than that, it kind of... It kind of went on for a while. That was it. Holy not being a musician, I'm not really that... Eh? Do you think that was the, uh, think that was it then, Carl? What the fuck? Stu, what was that cat? Was that the piano? What the fuck? Stu, what was that cat? 
Was that the piano? What the fuck? Stu, what was that cat? Was that the piano? Oh, I'm gonna come down. Right, I'm gonna keep this on a wide shot now. Bastard. So I've got you and everything else, even though it's a bit black. I don't know the old shins. No shins are old. I'm keeping you in shot now. Just in case whoever it was appears next to you. That's incredible. That piano definitely went off. We can get that happen again. Yeah, no, it did. It did go off, yeah. Yeah. I think the reason I didn't react to it was for two reasons, because I was too busy talking about what was going on. Plus, we can hear music in the distance. Yeah, but it was a different sound. It was a different sound though, yeah. What's through here? Oh, hello. Supermarket sweep. Uh, Tell you what, if I'm getting that, there's enough food there to last them. Yeah. Okay. What's in there? Oh, I'm just looking here to make sure that no one could potentially have hit a key and hidden. <coughs> what is this room? That's just all the storage, isn't it? Right, okay. Well, that's two things now we've had going on in the space of what, five, ten minutes, is it? Something like yeah. that? Yeah. I'm wondering whether. Do you think we could lock a camera off on this? Hey, it doesn't work. How did you make it work? Oh. I, I hit the keys down the other yeah. end. Did someone uh, keep yeah, let's something stick like a camera on it by all means. Let's get the whole thing in. Closer, cause he... Yeah, let's see him. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, easy. There we go. Get the whole key, all the keys in. Right. Well, that's a good shot. So if anything happens, we can. Uh, we've got that covered. Right. Right, you see what I'm looking at now? See, you was up there, so I was here. Yeah. So, you see where the edge of the red chairs are? It's kind of lit. And it's a bit shadowy and what right around there, but that's where he was stood. It's clear as day. The white hair. It's clear as I was seeing, clear as I'm looking at you now. There's nothing up there now, is there? Nope. And you know what? We'll probably never see it again, neither. We'll have to find out and do some research to see if there has been someone spotted in and around this building. Yeah. Do you know what the weird thing about it is? How many places have you and I have been into that have been absolutely petrifying? And even though you've seen something up there, that piano's gone off. Yeah. I'm not scared. I don't feel... No. A di completely different environment, doesn't it? I don't feel a threat. No. What we'd love you to do is communicate with us. We're not asking you to throw things or hurt one of us. Just communicate with us. So I don't know whether it's... No, there's, there, are, there must be um, a hole in the ceiling because it's dripping down, isn't it, in, in various areas. So that we can hear. It's a remarkable building. It's a big building. What's up there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Do you know what this reminds me of? Brannigans. Yeah. On a bigger scale, obviously, but it reminds me of Brannigans in a way. Yeah. Probably grease, isn't it, or something from. Uh, you know. By rights, we should be running out now. Even though the place isn't scary to be in from what we've seen and heard. But why aren't we? Well, you should be running out, just to be fair to you, you're a Well, there is that to it, but. Not that door. We've got padlocks on them. No, they're just locked. There's a toilet there. Oh, it's just a corridor. The closer we get them here, the more we hear them in. Come if you're here, show yourself to us. Is that a hole in the ceiling there? It is, yeah. Crying yeah, out here. No, that's what you call a hole. Yeah. Right. Well, look, why don't we smell? Why don't I go back down and pick the camera up that's near the. Um, Piano. Piano that I put there. Yep. And I'll stay near that area okay. just in case it goes off. Mm -hmm. um, and do you want to do these extra areas up here? And no, I'm uh, happy to stay up there. Yeah, yeah that's not a problem. Well, I'll walk out with you a bit so we've got you on camera. So you're going to do that corridor? Yep, yeah, I'll just go in this area here. everywhere I can go basically where the doors are open. Okay? Yeah. Any problems? Give us a shout. I've got my phone on me. Yeah. Oh. There we have it. Two things already. Two things. And we've done nothing. Didn't really ask out, to be honest with you. We just... We were just mooching around. But... Okay. The gentleman who I saw earlier on... Oh. Where did that come from? What's behind this door? It's locked. We didn't hear this go off when we were upstairs, so I'm assuming it hasn't. But I can only look back at this 
Now I've left Stuart upstairs doing his bit and I'm going to be here. I'm going to try and keep that as much in shot as I can just in case it does go off again. But it's such a vast place and I'm interested in what Stuart saw earlier up there. And as always in paranormal investigations, there are opposite ends of the room. Certainly opposite ends of diagonals in the room. They couldn't be furthest apart. Are you here? Can you show yourself to me? Can you make a sound? If you can make the piano go off again, that would be fantastic. The good thing is even if it goes off, we've got Stuart's accounted for, because he's on camera. It sounded like it came from this area then. I don't know. I can't really describe the noise, if I'm being honest with you. It's like... It was just a noise. I can't really describe it. I suppose... What I could do... Like metal or something being... That was it. That's what I heard. Something very, very similar to that. And as you can see, it's padlocked. Oh. Right, okay, hello? If you're here now, if you can see me and you can hear my voice, if that's a gentleman I saw on the stage earlier on, or in the seating area, come and do something, because you must know we're here. That's a tap, that's a bath, or something, run, let's go down. Hello? What the fucking hell is going on? Look, listen. Listen to that. The tap's running. There's four taps and there's just... The cold one is running. And the other one's dripping. I actually don't know what to do now. Let's turn that off. There's no one in here. Well, I should be... For some reason, I should be running about now. And phoning up Carl and saying, you know, where are you? Come and let's get out of here. But for some reason, I'm not doing that. It's intriguing now. I think... The person who turned that tap on is the person who we've seen in the stage area. I think it's him playing games with us. I don't think it's anything vicious. Let's go back up. Okay. Let's go back upstairs. Hey, I'm gonna, hey! It's back on again, look. I've literally not I've not been gone for more than 30 seconds. I, it's the same tap that I've just turned off. I'm gonna leave that running for a second. I now know that's the guy I've seen, he's turned that tap on. He's playing games with us now. He's not gonna harm us. I could probably put money on that. He's just letting us know he's here. Holy fuck. Right, I'll turn the tap off. That's twice now. Holy crap. But if I was to stand here, that tap would not come on. I guarantee it. You're playing games now, aren't you? And that's fine, you're more than welcome to. My name's Stuart. There's another gentleman downstairs, my best friend by the name of Carl. He's up near the piano area. 
Was that also you? In fact, it was. Who played the piano for us? You didn't play it, you just pushed the key down. I think it was, wasn't it? And that's fine to do that. You're more than welcome to do as many things as you like. We're not bad people. We're not here to disrespect you. We know we understand this is your workplace. You obviously must have been happy here for you to be staying here now, for you to be wandering around and doing the things that you're doing. You were obviously a joker in your time. The tap's not doing anything, I'm looking at it now. This is awesome, this is absolutely amazing. It really is. The, the, the atmosphere feels absolutely superb. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not cold, it's not too hot, it's not changing. I'm not sweating. I feel great. I'm actually excited to have someone with us now who's actually willing to work with what me and Carl and the rest of the Most Haunted crew are trying to achieve. Thank you, we appreciate this very much. What the fuck is that? I've nearly walked into that. There's a chair. I didn't hear any footsteps or anything. That chair, I've literally just nearly walked into it. What the fucking hell is that next to it? There's a chair there. And there's... Was that there before? I don't know what this is. I'm not going to touch it. Let's walk over the chair and just get the shot now. That gate was not in that position before. I don't know your name. I don't know. Look guys, look. Me and Carl walked into the kitchen, the canteen area before. And there's one of those plastic signs there, caution, wet floor. That is placed in the middle. And you know the funny thing about all this? I've not heard anything. I've heard no movement only other than the taps being turned on. The dude who haunts this theatre must be some kind of ninja. He's silent and he's just going off doing his thing and we can't hear him. Hello? I've just heard somebody walking. Hello? Hello? If you're here, can you walk towards me? dripping sound actually it might just be water water uh, traveling through the building but I'm gonna go and have a wander through here because this is quite quiet apart from that figure Stuart saw up the top there which is over there oh, um, how do I get out oh yeah here place is vast and I'm, I don't think you get lost in it but there's lots of little rooms and stuff how do I get out there we go I mean look this is a a great corridor one of the things I love about these buildings is or oh crumbs or sometimes the sadness of these buildings is the, the fact that back in the day, this was full of people. You've had so many people just wandering around, coming to, to different things, excited. What the 
fuck was that? Hello? Right. The church, you can hear there's music next door, but there was just a door standing up here. Hello? the auditorium. Just had a door slam. Not slam. I heard a door close. Are you here? Behind the door. Oh. As you can see, it's a smashed window. And as if I had organised it, the church bells. Which obviously was pushing this door. Yeah. This is quite eerie. No, it's a toilet. Uh, wow, look at the damage here. And that was scary as that thing there. It's just uh, mirrors. It's not even a, a clear mirror, so it's quite fuzzy. Right, so that's not paranormal. I'm not pretty sure if I close that. singing next door. Well, I'm sure the congregation will like it. I don't think they'll let number one now. And I'm convinced now, the more this stuff happens, the more I'm convinced it's the guy I've seen. Okay. Come and show yourself then if you can. Come on, come and talk to me. Come on. You don't need to be frightened of me. I'm trying to think what else might be um, out of place because I mean there's, there's stuff all around. I'm going to leave that chair there. I'm going to leave the gate open. Um, fucking hell, I don't remember. There's, there's stuff all over. Let's just walk into the canteen and just see. No, there's nothing. I was expecting a chair or something balanced. Um, <coughs> somewhere, I was expecting the chair to be balanced on something, but there's nothing. It's just that sign. How eerie is that? And not only that, that's three things there. There's the chair. I'm going to leave them there. I'm not moving them. Thank you very much. Whoever you are, I, I'd like to shake your hand and say thank you for everything you've done. I know you're, a, I, I think you're a nice person. In fact, I don't think I know you are. I don't know whether I should go back upstairs or I should stay down here where the action is, but the trouble is now, because this has happened, if I stay here, nothing, nada, zilch is gonna happen where where I'm here, while I'm here, so I'm going to go back upstairs and just see, and I'll stay quiet. People, do you know something? People do this for years and years and years and years, decades. I just heard a door slam upstairs. Hello? Is that you? Is this a gentleman with the grey hair? Who's just slammed the door? Was that you then? Hey? That's okay, you can do it again for me if you like. Oh, I'm getting scared now. 
Fucking hell. Come on, it's all right, Stu. Everything's fine. it was that. I don't know if that was the noise that I've just heard. It most certainly wasn't that. It was like a bang of some, some description. Police car going by, so we've got all these different sounds that are happening around. But the atmosphere is still the same up here. It, the atmosphere is still the same up here. It's changed, it's completely different. And it's not the atmosphere I'm comfortable in. Maybe it's old age, I don't know, I really don't know. Hello? Hello? Who was that? Who was that? I'm, I can't, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to walk in the dark and do the camera at the same time as well as trying to navigate these stairs and sometimes it can be quite difficult you see it's gone quiet now it's gone completely quiet I don't know if there's a calm before the storm, I don't know <clears throat> The chair is still there, I'll show you now. Why it's not been moved, I do not know. That's poltergeist activity that at its best. And here's me, stood on the top of the stairs, leaning against the wall, like everything's okay on a Saturday night. When really, it's um, not okay, because I'm not okay. It's 
So the atmosphere is different here again. It's not as bad as what it was upstairs. Oh, isn't this fantastic? It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, enough of my wandering around this place, saying how beautiful it is. I'm not really getting anything. Well, saying that, I mean, the piano was fantastic. Can you give me one noise just to know you're here? Just something. Can you do something? I've got my friend Stuart here. Can you do something to, to him? He's in another part of the building upstairs. When you... When these pianos and stuff go off, there's a part you, you wonder, how many times a day does that happen and no one hears it? In fact, it's an addition to that old saying, if a, or the old question, if a tree falls in a wood and no one is there to hear it, does it make a sound? If a haunted piano sounds in the dead of night, and there's no one else to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, thank you very much for doing what you've done. I'm gonna try and find Stuart if I can, and see where, and see how he's getting on. I know he's up these stairs. Stu? Hello? Oh, that's Carl. Yeah? Carl? Yeah, I'm just coming up. Where are you? Where? Right, just so come you, through the door doors. and stop. You'll see me? Come through that door, yeah. stop right there, don't move any further. Right. Let me just tell you something now. In no particular order, okay? There's a chair here, the taps came on, okay? I was told that twice the taps have come on now, okay? Well, isn't that, that's the kitchen, in the kitchen, it? I was upstairs talking earlier on and the taps came on, okay? So I came down the first time, right? I mentioned that the taps are running, and then after about 30 seconds, I turned the tap off, I went back upstairs. I came back downstairs again because again the tap was running in there. If you want to go in, you're more than, you're more than welcome to. And then, fun. as I was about to walk out, the chair here, I nearly walked into it. What, the chair moved? No, no. Someone's placed the chair here. Now, I'm almost convinced it's the chap who I saw in the theatre earlier on. It has to be. It can't be anyone else. And look there. There's a. There's a a danger, um, caution, wet floor sign. Well, that's in, that kind of that wasn't there chair. before. If we look back to earlier when Carl and Stuart first entered this area, we can see that the wooden gate and the caution sign were already there. However, the chair remains a mystery. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what there? Yeah, that's it. I walked in there thinking there might be a chair balanced on the table or something, but well, there's nothing. Stu? Yeah? These are, that's the same sort of chair here. Yeah. There's one missing from there. All the rest seem oh, to I be quite... No, I never noticed. Because yeah, I did all, say... All these tables have got all the chairs that match apart from that there. I never even noticed, never even noticed. So where were you when this chair came from here? Well, I was, well, here. Well, when I walked into the kitchen, that chair and that gate wasn't in that position. Okay, well, so one. that chair and gate must have been placed in that position when I, when I had my back um, turned towards the wall talking with the camera on my face. What about but I didn't book? hear it. Which taps? These taps? Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch that chair. What? This tap here. Yeah. 
Now I heard that when I was upstairs. It was full on. It was full on the tap. Come on on its own, can nope. it? Nope. Oh, it's just that tap? Or just, it? No, just the first one. That's There's four taps there, and it was just that cold tap that was on. Twice. Wow. This no tap. footsteps, no movement, no sounds, no nothing. That's me. What's and then, mean? so I've got the camera on me, like so. I'm talking away. And I'm about to walk out, and I just noticed it just at the corner, at the bottom of my eye. I noticed that chair there. What I got? I got absolutely nothing. You must have got. Well, what do you mean you got yeah. nothing? I got absolutely nothing. I got. Um, I mean, unless the, um, the the piano went off and we've got it on the lock off. Nothing. I thought I heard some some movement, but I right. think it was those drips from the water from the ingress. Top, but yeah. Nothing. I, I I heard a door slam or mm -hmm. close. I went upstairs, but it's the um, I think it's the ladies' toilet. I think, and there's a there's a window missing. There's right. The the, air, the the sort of breeze coming in that was closing it. So yeah, I had nothing paranormal, but you've had right. everything. We, but like I said before on camera, Carl, it wasn't anything to be frightened of. I don't think whoever whoever's with us now, and I keep saying it, and you're going to get bored of listening to it. I think it's a chap who was in the theatre earlier on. I think he's playing games, and I think he's more than happy for us to be here. Bored of listening to you, Stu? Mm -hmm. Never. <laughs> well, that's yeah. remarkable. On a joking aside, that is. Didn't even hear it. Didn't even hear it. How long? How long did that? When I well, left, I... did that happen? Say it again. After I left, how long? Because I walked downstairs, picked up the camera. Walked downstairs, picked up the camera, and um, for probably a good ten minutes or something like that, maybe. Right, so I could, I, maybe I, maybe slightly less, but I think um, I was still in the main auditorium then. I could hear you talking. I didn't know whether it was something happening, right, happening, or you were just asking out. Yeah, I definitely so heard basically, you I've been up and down and around trying to figure out what's been going on. Well, why don't we replace that chair? Mm -hmm. Oh, right, okay. and there's chairs here, but they're different chairs. And then potentially there's a space there. I'm sure it came from there, though, because all the other... I, yeah, I didn't really make a point of looking at any chairs when I walked around. That's the freezing cold. Come and touch it. <coughs> it's kind of damp. Yeah, it is damp, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, well, there's no heating on, is there? Right. It's freezing cold. Right, I'm going to put this back here. Listen, it's not that cold. It's not... <laughs> It's not really cold in here though, is it? Well, I'm putting it back there because I'm assuming that's where it goes. Having said that, I've got about four layers on, so... Right. Right, okay then. Should we call it Earth? Yeah. I mean, the fact that... Let's walk out of here like you be the last to walk out and make right. sure you get a shot of that. I'm gonna... So we know that... I'll get everything. I'll get everything. And, that, and the tap's not on, because right, if it comes I'm in later on... This. This is me. I'm gonna Shit. close this. me. I've got that one shot. Right, Stu? Right, okay. Have you got a shot of it? Yep. Get that last shot as you walk out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pan the camera around now. Put a bit of light on it. Yeah, I can see yeah, it. Got it. Oh, good, yeah. Well, I've got okay. absolutely zilch. Well, careful. Yeah. Absolutely zilch. I think the thing is, you haven't got any nervous energy in here because it doesn't feel negative. No. And why would it? No. It's a place of unhappiness and... The only place it felt uneasy for me was when I went back upstairs, you know, to that long corridor. Yeah. The atmosphere completely changed up there. Did it? For some reason. And I don't know why. Because it was fine down in the kitchen area where I was. All right. And I go back upstairs, completely different, but that's the way it goes, isn't it? Well. Right, I'm gonna uh, put the torch on there so we can see what I'm doing. Shit. Right, well that's that. Well, thank you, whoever you are. Thank you very kindly. Great place. Oh 
but I do yeah. like this place though. Yeah. It's got a lot of potential. Have to spend a a bit real more lot time. of potential. Right, now one of these doors gets us out of here, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. And with that, we end our most haunted extra at Champness Hall. Until next time, sleep tight. <laughs>